This is a demonstration of how to make a cloud in the cloud machine. This is the cloud machine. The cloud machine is an acrylic container which we modified to allow us to measure the pressure inside, the temperature inside. There's a valve here that allows air to go in or out if we open this valve. And we've attached this to a vacuum pump. The vacuum pump allows us to take air out of the bottle. The basic idea for making a cloud is we start with an environment which is close to 100% relative humidity. So to create that environment, I put water in here several hours ago, and then this water has evaporated from the surface and some of it's condensed on the inside of the surface, and you can see the condensation here. What that indicates is that we do have a relative humidity here, which is close to 100% because we are getting this condensation on the side of the bottle. This is the vacuum gauge, so as I take air out, this dial will rotate in a counterclockwise direction, so we'll know that air is coming out of the bottle. This is the thermometer that's attached, and we can monitor this so we can also see that the temperature is going down as air goes out. In addition, I have a little LED light here, which helps illuminate inside here, and creates and allows us to see the cloud when it forms more easily. And we've also attached a film to the back, a black film, so that will increase the contrast, so again making the cloud more visible once, once it forms. As I said, this is the vacuum pump that we're going to use to take air out. So again, we start with this environment which is close to 100%, so to make a cloud we need to cool this air. If we cool the air, then the relative humidity will actually exceed 100% and we should get a cloud to form. This cooling occurs because if we take air out, that expands the air. Expansion cools. Likewise, compression warms. Expansion cools, compression warms. In the atmosphere, we have air near the surface. And if it's close to high relative humidity, close to saturation, as that air parcel, that air mass moves upwards, it goes from high pressure to low pressure. Pressure decreases as we go up in the atmosphere. As that goes to low pressure, the air expands. Expansion cools. So this is how we clouds form, the clouds that we see in the atmosphere. Air goes up, expands, cools, and if we have enough relative humidity, if we have enough moisture in the air, we can get condensation to occur. So that's what we're going to try to demonstrate by this bottle. So I'm just going to use the vacuum pump to lower the pressure, decrease the temperature, and see if a cloud forms. Now, before I do that, let's, let's get rid of some of this water that's condensed on her so we can see things more easily. So I'm going to swirl this around and get rid of the condensation that's on the inside of the bottle. And this will make things a little more visible. So as you can see now, we have a pretty clear environment here so we can see things more easily. Now I'm going to note the temperature here before I take air out. Uh, right now the temperature is 22.5 Celsius, so we're going to compare that and see what happens as we take air out. So I need to close the valve for this to happen, so the valve is closed, and then I take the vacuum pump, and this dial should rotate in a counterclockwise direction as the pressure lowers. So I do that, pump it out, you can see the dial rotate in a counterclockwise direction, temperature has gone down, but no cloud forms. So we're going to ask the question, why doesn't the cloud form? So now the temperature is down to 20.8, so we've cooled the air, and the relative humidity now in this bottle will be greater than 100% because of that cooling. So what's missing? What's missing is that cloud droplets have to form on a little particle. Let me back up a little bit. Clouds are little droplets of water. Clouds are not water vapor. Sometimes there's confusion about this. Water vapor is invisible. Water vapor is a gas. We can't see it. There's water vapor in this room. There's water vapor inside this bottle. And yet we can't see it. When the cloud forms, it forms a little droplet. And at that point, we can see the cloud. So to make a cloud, we need to add some particles in here on which the cloud droplets can form. Now in the atmosphere, there's always some type of, drop, of particles in which the clouds can form. There could be smoke particles, there could be dust particles, there could actually be little salt particles that form from evaporating sea spray, for example, it gives 
little particles of salt, which can use can be used as a nucleus on which the cloud droplets can form. So we call those cloud condensation nuclei, or CCN. So what we have to do in this case is we have to add CCN. So to do that, I'm going to use a little incense stick here. So I'm going to ignite this. Now this part you have to be a little careful with because we do have a flame here and things could get out of hand if we're not careful. So let me light the incense stick here. And now we can clearly see that there's smoke coming off of the incense stick. Now to get this smoke in the bottle, I now have a lower pressure in here because I pumped some of the air out, the pressure is still low. So I can just open the valve and the, some of the smoke will be sucked into the bottle. So now there's smoke in the bottle. Now be a little careful with this, we still have a little burning ember here, so I'm going to put this into a little cup of water, which I had put here ahead of time to take care of that. Don't want anything bad to happen with the, that part of it. So now I have inside cloud, I have smoke, so I have particles in which the cloud can form. So now I'm going to repeat what I did before. Let's look at the temperature again. Now the temperature is 23.7. Uh, we have smoke in here, and now I'm going to pump the air out, and within a few strokes, we can see that we get a cloud to form pretty quickly. And if you look closely in here, you'll see these little droplets. Uh, you can actually, I'm not sure, sure if you'll see it on the video here, but if you get close, you'll see some motions. Well, by pumping that air out, I've created some turbulence in there, which causes some mixing. So if you look at that carefully, you'll see some motions of the small droplets in there. So now we have a cloud. So each one of those droplets on there has formed on a smoke particle. And that's how they form. Now if I wait a little bit, this cloud will dissipate. Eventually it will dissipate. But I can accelerate that dissipation if I open the valve. When I open the valve, air will go in, which is a compression. Pressure is increasing to a compression, which will warm the air. And then the relative humidity will drop down again. So the cloud will disappear. So I'm going to open it now, and you see the cloud disappears really quickly. Now I can repeat this, I can shut the valve again, and pump it down, and you see again the cloud forms. So those smoke particles, there's still some smoke particles in there that are providing the sites on which the cloud droplets can form. Now, if I repeat this a couple of times over the next 10 minutes or so, I will still get a cloud forming. If I wait for a few hours, no cloud forms because those smoke particles will have settled out and now the air is clean again. And so I would have to reintroduce some more CCN to get a cloud. So that's how we make a cloud in the cloud machine. Um, the, Detailed instructions for this are included in the booklet that comes with the machine. And this booklet includes not only the detailed instructions, but also a little more on the science of what's going on here. I've also included some questions that you, if you're using this for instructional purposes, you can pose these questions to your students, and hopefully those questions will help stimulate further thought on how we get a cloud in a cloud machine and how clouds form in nature. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation of the Cloud Machine. If you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram and Facebook for new pictures, stories, and products from CloudProf Solutions.